All right, you guys, it's just a general read for you, Cancer. It's just pulling tarot, not pulling oracles right now. And just seeing where your energy is. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I come on. Emperor, upholding order through leadership. Emperor also says, doo -doo -doo -doo, control your emotions, embrace logic and reason whenever necessary. Be ordered, organized, and assertive to execute your ideas. So, what is it that you're executing, Cancer? What are you working on? You know, we have a lot on our plates when it comes to this new age, this new world, and the things that's happening. We have three cards that come out. You're working on your pinnacles. I mean, not saying that you normally don't, but you're also working on happy, love, harmony, and being carefree in the process of upholding order through leadership. Sometimes when we are leaders and we're bosses, we don't receive that same lo uh, love because we have burdens with the Ten of Wands energy. So far, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn on the board. We have Aries energy, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. The Aries is the emperor. And um, yeah, there you have it. So we don't normally in the process of coming and finding and experiencing our coins or getting to our bag, we don't normally, you know, uh, feel the need to have love. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm saying that wrong. You know, we're not normally carefree and harmonious, you know. Happy love can happen, but our burdens are so tough uh, that it doesn't happen all the time, you know. So we have to be in Page of Cups energy, right? Page of Cups energy is seeing the opportunities and also receiving invitations for affection. Could be the cup of love. This is what we all are searching for at the end of the day. But sometimes it comes with maturity. Sometimes we're not mature enough to understand, or this could be men, for women, whatever, take what resonates. Sometimes we're not mature enough to understand that we do need that, that, uh, that cup of love. We do need that, but we're so busy trying to get in our bag that when it does come with the Knight of Cups energy, you know, uh, air, I mean, excuse me, water energy with the Knight of Cups energy, you know, it says always follow your heart because it'll never lead you astray because it knows things the mind can't explain. So with that couple of energy that we are searching for when it comes to us, sometimes we don't recognize it because we're so busy flourishing in our pinnacles. We have to look at things from a, a wide eye lens when it comes to how things are put into perspective for us we have we have dealt with so much hurt pain inner anger and struggle that you know we always think uh that somebody is coming towards us with their male phallic or with uh, uh more than just 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 like uh sexual energy uh with the knight of wands energy this is also my drake energy right so my drake energy is you only live once be bold be fearless and do what you love but this could be the energy of a person coming through and this is what we don't take serious so in the process of us not taking this this energy ser serious because of our struggles you know because of the struggles because of the past pains we kind of look at things in a different direction and go from there does that make sense to you um yes in the comments but i'm gonna go ahead and pull a couple of more cards in regards to this you know but the thing is is that we have to really see the beauty in every situation and sometimes leadership causes you to be lonely oh wait 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 look 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 yeah judgment judgment because people's actions has caused us to judge and to feel like we have to be blocked off that we can't you know express ourselves or that we can't have love and uh, material wealth as well you know but something about this probably is going to change judgment is a new phase beginning you know and so that is where we are with this situation you know let's clarify this emperor yeah the ten of uh the, excuse me the nine of uh, wands energy the nine of wands energy is uh you know recognizing that you have the strength to lead any organization or any situation however clarifying this knight of wands uh, excuse me this page of cups energy you have the energy and the strength to to lead anybody through anything but to actually go through it with yourself page of cups energy that's a different story we have the full energy so with the page of cups being here you know the full is like uh excuse me the page of cups is let your imagination run wild imagination is to fuel the dreams and the dreams that fuel the creation so at the same time if you don't take a leap and try to experience other things your coins and your leadership will always um make you see your burdens um 
what is it up into the forefront you know your burdens will always take full center of what's happening the old struggle the past struggles you know judging others because you've been through this past struggle you're you're not able to take that leap uh because you feel trapped you feel like that if you take a leap with someone you'll turn around and be uh in a situation um where you start to overthink where you start to you know feel trapped and where there is uh self-criticism when it comes to you doing and feeling vulnerable does that make sense but that's where you learn from the past energies let's clarify this knight of wands that's where you learn from the past energies of you know where what it was that you did the lessons that you know all the experiences that you've been through have taught you and then moving forward you'll be okay and open to new energy the magician yeah because you have the power to manifest anything that you want you can manifest love you can manifest wealth you can manifest uh strength you know by you just being strong and you know cl seeing cl being clear clear and having clarity on a situation but again if this person is not yours uh by divine right then you know what happens you turn around and you actually get into a situation to where you are just like no i'm not doing this hold on one second yeah so what i was basically saying sorry about that i had to pause my phone but anyway what i was saying is that you know you have the you have the power to manifest anything and you have the power to see and use your intuition when it comes to certain situations however what you choose to do and how you feel to be trapped in your own emotions from the past is what causes you not to move forward when it comes to any type of couple love and i you know and i get it you know sometimes past hurts you know make you see things differently you know so that is where you are However, we're going to clarify these struggles. Where were these struggles at and why are they affecting you? It could be childhood struggles or it could be you struggling to get to where you are. Does that make sense? So anyway, uh, yeah, because you had to walk away from a lot of people in order to get to a place of feeling like you're working on yourself or you're doing things for yourself. Uh, Eight of Cups energy. You know, the Eight of Cups energy is new futures, you know, uh, being delusional at the same time, but also walking away. You know, this past hurt or this past struggle caused you to feel that way. Let me just read to you. The Five of Pentacles energy says we all face hardships um, in our lives. And it's during those times that we realize it's during those times that we realize you know, what we're truly made of, you know, that's the, uh, the five of pentacles energy, the eight of cups energy says, you know, let go of what does, what does not serve you and move forward to the next chapter of your story. So again, what no longer serves you. That's the reason why this energy is here. The eight of, uh, swords energy says, um, there are only limited, uh, there are only limits to self-empowerment. It says, um, excuse me, the only limits to self-empowerment are those that you place upon yourself. So again, you have to take a leap because you're you're afraid and you're feeling trapped, you know, when it comes to how you're you're doing things, you know, but you're protecting with the nine of wands energy. The nine of wands energy energy says always watch your back and mark your boundaries, or they or someone will mark them for you. Because in the past, before you became had this emperor energy, someone was marking the things that they the, telling you. Uh, what to do or making you feel like they were trying to control your life and so once you got out of that situation you say you know what I'll never get back into a situation to where you always see red flags basically but you always said I'll never get back into a situation to where somebody is trying to control me so in that process I'm going to be by myself but that's not healthy you know that's not healthy because that's fearing the past that's fearing your past energies and that's not what you want to do so again the universe is showing you take that leap on that cup of love or even to explore you know more when it comes to what it is that you're willing to 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 do because the four of wands energy is here and the four of wands is happiness is harmony and is peace you're at peace with where you are but don't get too comfortable then the king of cups will be there or queen take what resonates only love and compassion and understanding can truly bring you the happiness and tranquility that you seek you will find somebody who is happy about your success that is happy about your struggles that will be okay with you 
being successful and be able to bring something to the table as well. It might not be financial. If you're at a, a situation to where you're financially stable and you come in, somebody come into your life and they're not, I just read to you, I mean, I just did it read to you. I just did a reading right before this one where it said that the person who you least suspect will, you know, that, that saying, teach me, show, you know, tell me to fish and whatever, teach me and this, but show me. Uh, and I'll be prosperous, you know, and in the new ages, it's like this person is showing you um, how to trust in them. And he's not using this ego. He or she is not using their ego to do it. They're showing you about new waves, new technology, whether it comes in a form of a mentor or something like that. Someone is showing you a different way, you know, and there is a difference when it comes to that. And so this person place or thing or situation, once you're once you've become you know, empowered. And once you become that person where, you know, you, you've healed and you meet somebody who has healed as well, then this can happen. And there won't be any doubts or any, uh, situations to where you overthink or think that you cannot share your burdens because the 10 of, 10 of wands energy says, you know, share your burdens, lighten your load and learn to delegate. You don't have to do it alone. And so that's the thing. Once you reach this point of where you feel like you can trust someone, you know, because see all of these pictures here in the middle is somebody coming towards you. This person is coming towards you, maybe with the strength, maybe with the knowledge to, to, to help you clear your burdens to help you but this is the successful energy here you know somebody coming towards you with a cup of love you know and it's not a wand that they're coming towards you with makes sense it's not just the wand you know it's them coming towards you you know empress energy high priestess energy you know cancer energy however you know chariot energy however you want to take it is somebody coming towards you so this is a new beginning when it comes to that and this king of this king of cups this knight can only become a king when he's when you guys are both successful does that make sense and that's where this two of cups comes in at two of cups again is love friendship and connection you have to be friends with someone before you can have anything else with them you have to know how to juggle your priorities how to do things and adapt to a situation but it's adapting to a situation of growth if that makes sense to you you know and at the bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles so this queen is the queen of pentacles right now you know she is somebody who is on top of her financial goals and in regards to that like i say he might come with the strength uh to to uplift you to help you and at the end of the day you guys will create this foundation together a bigger foundation a bigger platform than what it is that you know, you've had in the past. Does that make sense? Um, so again, once, you know, you in a relationship, friendship or connection, or even being a team, you have to be able to complete one another when it comes to, you know, making someone or crowning someone. Look at this, because at the bottom of the deck is the King of Pentacles and the Empress. The King of Pentacles is there is no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. When this person was coming to you, as a knight, they were coming to you because they already knew that you had what it took to be someone's empress, right? And in turn, your empress energy and your nurturing spirit helped to cultivate and to guide and to form this person by you trusting in their ability to help you where you were weak at. Does that make sense? Meaning that if you didn't know, they opened your eyes to a different experience. So once you have healed and you you find someone who is on that healing journey, whoa, the, the cloud just came over. You see how dark it got? Let me cut my light on. The clouds just came over. But once you find a person that is willing to learn exactly or to, to uh, strengthen you, you know, uh, in the areas of weakness, and that is not just using their male phallic to get what they want, then there will be a completion, a wholeness, and a change of place. And now this this night that comes your way, and you being the empress, you know, will be able to be successful. You know, opposites do attract. You know, the empress is here as a nurturer, but if he can't see from a financial, you know, because because you can teach them how to grow their wealth. You know, you can teach them how to grow their wealth and then turn around, be successful uh, with all of the things that they bring to the table and you bringing the things that you bring to the table, you taking the things that you bring to the table and you guys juggle on what it is that you need to do 
to be successful together as a cohesive unit, right? And then turn around, you and him, this person will have their cups, the cup of love. You'll be able to, you know, make this person a king and have your four of wands energy, happiness, love, you know, uh, and peace in a relationship, a cohesive unit. Does that make sense? So that is where we are. The queen cannot be a king if they don't come together and they're struggling and juggling what it, what each person brings to the table. Because one person can't be in a situation to where they feel like they have everything, you know, in the page of Pentacles energy. Never stop learning because if you think you know everything, then you know nothing at all. So this same person, this king of Pentacles became a king because at one point he was in the night of uh, Pentacles energy, knowing that you can't get the results without first doing the work, show up, work hard and keep pushing. So he was the knight at first and he showed up to you. Where is that? He showed up to you and said, look, I can bring water to your forest or to your trees. I know how to bring the water. I know how to fish. I know how to use the, this was the same analogy that was from my last read basically, but I know how to fish. You have the money that it takes to be able to build our empire, right? You have the, what, you know, some of the things that I need to help me build an empire. And in turn, if we work together, if we work together and figure out where you, you're you strong and where I'm weak and where I'm strong and where you're weak. This is, this is collaboration at its finest. This is turning the and, and, and building a foundation. No matter where you came into a situation at, this is you building a foundation. But this takes a person who is willing to understand that I might not have everything that you need or I might not be able to bring you you know, the finances that you need, but I have the brain and I have this and I know where to go and get this at. And in turn, you know how to already get your stuff. So let's take our weaknesses and bring them together so that we can have what it takes. And when we go in front of, where is it? When we go in front of, this is you standing on the opposite side. Look, Look, that's how it is. This is this is us. When we go, you know, and we we make those vows and we build our kingdom, this is us in the beginning, right? But we have to let go and walk away from our past. We have to walk away from our past. That's why I'm on my way to you. Look at this. Where you at? That's why I'm on my way to you. We've let go of the past. So this is a story here. We let go of the past in order to create a future. Does that make sense? We let go of the past. I came towards you. You came towards, we, we found each other, right? We found each other. And here it is. Now we can make this complete. But we have to build each other first. And we have to trust. There you have it, you guys. All right. Have a nice day.